holidays are over, you might be looking at all the kid gifts your kids got, and I'm sure there are plenty. Well, I don't have any kids yet, so thank God I didn't have to buy any gifts. <laughs> but as News 12's <laughs> Christy Reeder explains, you may want to give some of them a second glance. In this Parenting 411, she breaks down the issue of counterfeit toys. What is this topic that we hear about, counterfeit toys? What does it mean, and, and how do you... Uh, prepare yourself as a parent to not fall victim. Well, toys sold in this country are subject to over a hundred different safety standards and tests. And then they have to be tested and certified before they're sold to the public. That's a law. But what we're seeing lately is an increase in the number of counterfeit products, mostly sold online. And why that concerns us is that if a product's not going to comply with the laws for uh, making original product and intellectual property, they're also not likely to comply with safety standards. And there are a lot of standards to make sure what your kids play with is safe. Joan Lawrence is the Senior Vice President of Standards and Regulatory Affairs at the Toy Association, overseeing the industry's role in developing safety standards. A knockoff bag might not put your family at risk. A knockoff toy could. So avoid those toys. Look for well-known brands. Look for whether the seller has its own website. Look at the listing carefully. Are there typos? What if you did fall victim? Um, what would you recommend? If you do end up with a toy that you're concerned may be counterfeit and not compliant with safety standards, the first thing I'd suggest is to remove that item from the play space. And, and that can be hard to do with a child. You might want to do it on um, nap time. Do research on that toy, looking for those red flags. And if you don't think it's safe, stop using it and try to return it. We have a website, um, it's playsafe.org, and it's great for parents to look at to get some of this safety guidance and to learn about what standards exist and even how to choose safe and age-appropriate toys. So playtime, stay safe. I'm Christy Reeder with this Parenting 411.